Hey, hey, everybody, this is Larry. This is me going with Q2 of bi weekly contest 77 minimum average differences. So, this is also to be honest, um, just naive algorithm is fine. Uh, I thought this was a little bit awkward, though, to be honest, because there is some like asymmetry for this problem in a sense that there is, um, there is a case where, for example, here, you take the sum of every element and then you subtract it by whatever, um, where you don't do it for the right side. Well, I guess it's the same answer. So maybe if you did it, it would be would have been fine. Hmm. Now that I think about it, I guess it would have been okay if you added an extra thing so that um, all the padding is okay. But in any, any case, yeah, uh, and it's just about implementing what they tell you to do. Um, I'll go over my code because I don't think there's anything much to do. Um, it's just keeping track of the index as well. Yeah, I kind of did it weird. Um, keeping track of min and keeping track of the index. And the way that I did it is by uh, essentially prefix sum. Um, basically, you have a, I, I keep track of the sum of the, the left components and then the sum of the right components as defined uh, by taking the sum and then as I encounter each number, I, I move it from right to left. And and yeah, and I just have a special case for all these, uh, all these uh, for not having a right number, uh, 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 yeah, right component. Um, but yeah, otherwise, this is basically it. And you just have to make sure that you have the indexes right and counting right because counting is hard. Because uh, I actually made a mistake here as well. Um, but yeah, um, this is obviously going to be linear time. Uh, this is linear, but also this is obviously linear. So yeah, and all these operations are all one inside. So linear time, uh, constant space, because we just have like I don't know six, seven variables or something like that. Um, yeah, and that's pretty much all I have for this one. Let me know what you think. Um, yeah, I think you can also, yeah. I mean, I think yeah, as long as you you do some kind of pre compute pre computation, it, it should be fine. Like I can imagine that. If you are not as uh, slick with this kind of sliding window E type thing, um, you can just have, also have literally have a prefix sum away, um, and that would be fine too. Or suffix sum if you want to put it call it that, but essentially prefix sum in worst. Um, that would be linear space, um, and maybe even you know, and you don't have to worry about like silliness. Uh, so maybe that's good too if if that that's uh, if that's faster for you because it'll be linear space and it'll be fast enough. Um, cool. Um, yeah, that's what I have for this one explanation wise. You could watch me solve a live during the contest now. Round down, okay. Okay.
That's not right. Three two two zero zero one. Okay, so this is right, it's just I have to figure out how. A little bit slower. Come on. Way easy, my. Yeah, thanks for watching. Hit the like button. Hit the subscribe button. Join me on Discord, especially if you like these contest problems. There's a lot of Discord. Uh, so yeah. Uh, yeah, I'll see you later. Stay good. Stay healthy. Take your mental health. I'll see. Bye bye.